Hello, this is Gary Davis, and in this tip and trick, I'm going to go a complete departure from my normal mode, and I'm not a scripter, but I wanted to share some information with you that I just learned today uh, from a friend of mine, I'll give him credit in a moment, um, about Sublime Text Editing. Sublime Text Editor is actually a script editor that is not has nothing to do with 3ds Max or any other uh, you know program out there, but it allows lots of different common languages. And I'm on, on the website right now, sublimetext.com. And what we're going to be doing is enabling uh, the Sublime Text Editor to work with both Python and Max Script. Actually, it already works with Python natively, and you can see in this example that there it does nice color coding and everything like that. So what I did was downloaded Sublime Text 2, and I went and installed it. And the, uh, real quick to um, point out that is. Uh, Sublime Text version 2 is what's required for this. There is a version 3, but uh, it's not supported at this time. So if I go ahead and run this uh, Sublime Text Editor here, you can see you know, up comes our editor. And the next thing we're going to do over here is jump over to this website. And I'm going to provide all these links and everything, so don't worry about writing them down or anything. Um, the, you only have to do this once. Uh, how to install the Sublime Control Package. So here's this... Um, package control and I've opened that link up right here and this is basically you can see there's one for Sublime Text 3 and Sublime Text 2 and 2 is what we want for this particular case so I'm gonna go full screen here and it basically just says view show console so I'm gonna go view show console which is down at the bottom here and then you just take all this text right here copy it paste it into the text editor and I'm gonna hit execute and now it's actually um, going ahead oh, let me see yeah it's going ahead please restart sublime to finish the installation so we need to exit that out and I'm gonna go ahead and run sublime one more time and now we have uh, what's called package control within the application okay for this second part we're gonna just come in and actually install the max language if you will into the sublime text editor so what we're gonna do let me just move this over here you can see, I can use my cheat sheet here I'm gonna to go to the sublime text editor and hit control shift P and that's gonna bring up a list of commands and this is the commands uh, you can do a search uh, I'm gonna type install and I wanna install a package now it's gonna list all the packages that are available and uh, the 3ds max one is what I'm after 3ds max so this is a sublime plugin that enables you to send max script files and commands so we're gonna go ahead and install that and it's doing this over the internet and then uh, once you have this installed uh, the syntax of 3ds max is going to be you know recognized from sublime a lot of times you might want to exit out and go rerun this um, so let's see if that's working. So if I just open up a file here, I've got a test file out on my D drive. Um, and let's maybe just go open up a Mac script here. So you can see that it's actually color coded. This is a very simple one line script. And what we want to do in the last step here <clears throat> is be able to execute Mac scripts from the Sublime Text Editor and send that information over to Max. Um, before I continue, I would like to thank a couple of people. Uh, again, Roger Van Etten really helped me out with this, uh, the installation process as well as doing this uh, package for 3ds Max. So we'd like to thank Roger for that. Um, the last two is kind of a quick cut and paste here. I'm going to just come in here and get these two lines. Um, I'm going to copy it. And what these two lines do is basically uh, send it the commands e using uh, standard max script controls either control E or shift enter to send the selection so you can basically execute an entire script from sublime or you can execute partial scripts from the sublime text editor so again I'm gonna just uh, get this copy it and this is all a one-time process again so now I'm gonna say um, uh, da -da 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 -da. I'll say we need to reset yeah so preferences oops and let me just even highlight this for your sake there we go preferences key bindings user and there's um, none in here right now but between these two brackets we just want to enter those two lines of code and this is basically uh, adjusting hotkeys for sublime to work with max and if I exit out of there do you want to change this yes sometimes again it might be a good idea to just exit and restart and now to test this uh, if it's all working uh, well I've got max loaded up here and this particular script all it does is um, 
let's move that panel out. All this script does is basically randomizes the color object color of objects. So I'm just going to make a bunch of objects out here in this in the scene. I'm going to select them, come over into Sublime, and hit Control E. So you can see as I execute the script, Control E, it is in fact randomizing the color of those objects. So we're good to go. Uh, that's going to do it for me. Also, uh, one of the things just to point out, Max 2015 does support Python now. So if you open up and are working with something like Python, you can have Max script commands color coded as well as Python commands all within the Sublime editor and uh, make use of all your scripting know-how that I don't have. So if you have any more tips and tricks, please post them in the comments. Um, this is just a way to, for people to get started uh, using the Sublime text editor with Python and Max script in 3ds Max. Thanks.